Hey guys, so Zendikar Rising will have four different booster packs as you see from the screen. One of them will be the regular booster pack that we're used to. Another one will be the collector's edition. Then we get a welcome booster. And then the newest booster pack, which came out kind of surprising me, uh, is something called a set booster pack. And we're gonna take a closer look. So we've all, we've had these type of boosters before, but the set booster pack where it looks like this is going to be different. Now the ratios have changed. The, you can get up to four rares, which is pretty insane. Let me read you that again. Uh, and this set booster pack will of course cost more money because I mean, for us to expect booster packs to get cheaper would be unreasonable, right? So a new kind of booster Zendikar Rising 12 card booster and they actually lay off so every slot of the booster pack is defined quite well So guaranteed foil up to four rares. It looks like that is the set booster pack on the front That's what the advertising suggests and I up to four rares That's a lot of rares and it is only a 12 pack card so it's mainly made for EDH players. Uh, we've been kind of inundated by not only the amount of product, uh, Double Masters, Mystery Boosters, Jumpstart, all that happened, Commander 2020, uh, that all that happened in a very short time period in the middle of COVID. Now we're introducing a, another type of booster pack, which is a dollar more expensive. Man, if you ever wondered Wizard Coast wants your money, yeah, they need your money bad, guys. So, number one, art card slot. I like that. You know, I'm good for that. Land slot, 15% of the time it will be foil. And Zendikar Rising will have four art land basics. And then the free to eight will be connected commons and uncommons. Uh, Pokemon used to do this where uh, in the legendary packs where what you got was somehow related to each other. Therefore, it was easier to play, uh, make a deck from just a pack or two packs or three packs. Every set booster is guaranteed at least one uncommon in these six slots, but these six slots will range from five commons and one uncommon to zero commons and six uncommon. So good, that's not bad. Slot nine, head turning slot. Uh, the goal of this chapter is to be splashy and exciting. You never quite know. So this is the random, this is the randomness. Uh, slide, slot 10 and 11, the wild card rarity. Anything from a common to a mythic rare. It is possible to get showcases. So you could get double mythics here. And the slot 10, 12 is your guaranteed rare or mythic. And then your foil could be also a rare or mythic. And now in this booster pack, you are guaranteed a foil. So if you open the, the correct booster pack, you and then also you get an add card, so congrats. Uh, but 25% of the time, instead of an add or token card, you'll get a card from the list, 300 interesting, oh, kind of like a time spiral. So, I mean, you could pick up, let me look at the advertising again. Is that where we get up to four? Mythics guaranteed for up to what guaranteed foil up to four rares. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that's pretty good, guys. Uh, that's a lot of value. So you pay an extra dollar and you're guaranteed a foil, and you will pick up possibly four rares and mythics uh, as long as you hit two, which I think is really easy to do. You will, I mean, it's a good deal. It's a really good deal. Even if you just had the foil card, hmm. But it will it will put a lot of pressure on the standard boxes. The days of people buying standard boxes, I think, are, are long gone. I don't understand why someone would buy a regular pack over this. This seems like a far superior product in terms of what you get. But who knows? And also, this is there also is the collect. So this is like the cheaper collector's edition which is smart that's what i would have done the whole time the collector's edition is too much money i would have done this whatever this is the set 
booster, I would have done the entire time because it makes a lot of sense. There's an incredible amount of value in this. And honestly speaking, I just don't see why people would want to buy a standard box anymore because it's not like they can draft it in person, right? Bye, guys.